Noah Kaufman. I'm Jack Lito. Noah, excited for this one. The number three team in the nation is town. The Penn State Mitley, Mitley Lions have had two matches uh, canceled due to COVID-19 concerns. How excited are you to see one of the best teams in the nation, technically the defending national champions from 2019? Jack, it's a great way to start off the wrestling season at Welsh Ryan, and we're, and we're getting right into it. You know, with Roman Bravo Young getting on the mat first, I mean, what more could you ask for? Uh, you know, Penn State forfeits 125, and I choose to believe that it's just so that they could show us Roman Bravo Young, and look at how quick that first takedown was, and, and show us, show them to us even quicker, uh, just to, you know, get things going on that side. We wanted to, we wanted to see some of the most elite wrestlers in the country as quickly as we possibly could. At Penn State, they wanted to start quick with Roman Bravo Young, number three in the country, came in second in the Big Tens, losing to Sebastian Rivera last season. And when RBY sees purple, he's seeing red, even though Sebastian Rivera is now transferred to Rutgers for his graduate transfer season. Roman Bravo Young is excited to get after the boys from Evanston, but he starts out against Kyle Luigs. Luigs, excuse me. RBY, as he is affectionately known, gave... Louise the, Louise the early escape, and with two minutes to go in the first, Bravo Young up two to one. Penn State forfeited the 125 match. They have a few guys that could have gone in. Freshman, first year Robert Howard, red shirt, first year Baylor Shunk, and sophomore Brendan, Brandon Meredith, but a nice, uh, a nice consolation for not seeing the 125 is we get our look at Roman Bravo Young and Kyle Luigs was doing a pretty solid job against him, not really letting Bravo Young getting in, get in on any shots. As here goes Luigs with a shot, going for the single leg, a fantastic sprawl by RBY Noah. Yeah, the, the issue with Bravo Young is that he's just so quick. So you were talking about Luigs doing a great job defensively, but as soon as you try to turn that defense into offense. If you're not the, you, if you don't have the elite level of quickness and you see again, he's just right on top of you. He's too quick for you to take those, you know, straight shots at if you're not, you know, a wrestler like Sebastian Rivera, a guy who can be just as quick as him. And, and there you see, a, you know, Bravo Young getting immediately the takedown off of the, that shot attempt from Luigs because he's just so much quicker than him. You know, he gets to the feet, he gets to the lower body so much faster than you can as an opponent. So that just makes it so difficult uh, for a guy like Luigs, who is just out talented in a matchup like this. I mean, it's not it's not to say that you, you, you can't fight uh, and, and claw your way uh, to, to make something happen. But when, when you see a guy with the talent that Bravo Young has and obviously the, the seasoning as well, um, it, it's just so tough. After a stalemate called RBY looking for that treetop single leg, he's got it. No points yet. Pushing and pushing, driving with those hips, no points given, and they're very close to being out of bounds. Kyle Wiggs looking for the reversal, trying to get around RBY. As you see, that riding time is up on the screen, 47 seconds for RBY. If you finish in wrestling with over one minute of riding time, that is an extra bonus point. RBY is certainly looking for it. The Wiggs will be credited for the escape. It's four to two. And I'm impressed with Wiggs' ability to escape so far. Uh... You know, especially that first escape, it looked like RBY gave it to him a little bit, as you said, Jack. Uh, but that, that time right there, RBY really fighting um, to get those points, to get that those shoulders down. And Luigi's able to scramble and just and just make his way through it and, and survive the first period um, without, you know, ending it on bottom. That's that, that's huge for him to get those two escape to get those two escapes and keep himself within striking distance. You know, all you need is one surprise takedown to turn the tide of a match like this. No, we had a forfeit. That's Takedown worth two and escape worth one. So if Luigs was is able to get out of this as Luigs starts on bottom, he would only be down by one. Although RBY getting that riding time up closer to one minute. Two minutes on the clock in the second period. Two minutes will be on the clock in the third. RBY turns Luigs over. Now he's looking to get perpendicular and turn Luigs over for a possible pin. Yeah, if you're Luigs, Jack. You, yeah, go ahead, Noah. You can't be you can't be worried about the riding time at this point because you're going to need takedowns to win this anyways. So you, you got to say, okay, RBY is going to take the, 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 the riding time at this point. You know, he's got the riding time point right now. But you were never going to win this without getting takedowns. So it, it's all about, you know, what kind of shot can you take that will work here if you're going for a win, if you're not just trying to keep this at decision level, which 
if, it, if that's the goal, he's done a good job of that so far. But if you're going for the win, if you're going for the massive upset here, you, you always knew you're going to have to get a take down of that. You know, he's he's taking his shots. You got to credit with Wiggs. A lot of underdogs in this situation would not be taking the type of shots that he is taking. But RBY, yeah, but RBY is, is yeah. he is just so quick. You the lower body argument. quickness, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, it's something we talked about a lot with Sebastian Rivera. You know, a guy that we got to watch every week here at Welsh Ryan. That was the thing that set him apart from the vast majority of his opponents. You know, that's why the Rivera versus RBY matches. Um, were so were, were so anticipated were so intense because those were the guys that could match each other's quickness but when when you're facing a dude who isn't at that level and you know I'm not there's no shade to Luigs when I say that he's not at that level um, it's just it's just so difficult uh, to work against a guy like Arby Luigs Luigs wrestling at 133 today he also can wrestle at 144 he actually lost two years ago to his high school teammate, Nick Lee, in Indiana's duel against Penn State. Nick Lee, of course, the 141 pound wrestler for Penn State, both from Evansville, Indiana, Luigs and Lee. We'll see Nick Lee coming up a little bit later. Yeah, and by a little bit later, you mean in like three minutes. So don't go anywhere. If you're, <laughs> if you're waiting for Nick Lee, we are, we are moments away. Yeah, get your popcorn ready, folks. Three seconds, two seconds, and... Roby White looks for a shot to try to win the whistle, as they say. A solid performance from Kyle Lewigs. And Noah, if Lewigs does not get this win here, it will likely just be a regular decision. Is that How key is that going to be for Indiana to take those regular decisions rather than bonus point losses? Well, it's going to be a tough duel for you to win no matter what against a team like Penn State. And by tough, I mean Indiana's never beaten Penn State. It's not going to start today. But... Uh, uh, a performance like this from the Wiggs, you know, just getting four points, even if there's no takedowns in there, four escapes against a guy like RBY is impressive. And here's the thing. There's a shot that RBY just, you know, overpowering him. A very, very nicely done to cinch up the, the, the legs like that. Um, just absolute dominance. But that was the first time that RBY had really succeeded on a shot attempt since the very start of this one, you know? He, he got that shot attempt going the first on the on the first shot he, he went, and then the other times he was just countering the wigs into takedowns. So that's a, that's an impressive thing for the wigs where he goes about four minutes without any shots from RBY landing. But now, really in trouble. Five points for the wigs and now ten for RBY. Should be eleven as there it is. The riding time is locked up. Yeah. So, so, the, so, so now it's, it's all about near fall. Five. If he gets any near fall points at all. He's going to be able to, to make turn it into a major. And that's why Luigs is he's really riding the borderline of a stall call. But at this point, and, and so RBY lets him up to try to get another takedown and get into more points. He, he totally let him up right there because he knew that the way he had Luigs just taking his back, he was never going to be able to get near fall points out of that. Um, Bravo Young has not been afraid to let Luigs go. And there's Luigs with a double leg to get RBY on his belt buckle two, buckle two points very now, impressive this be a I, win for Luigs, but the final score should be 11 to 8 a decision in favor of roman bravo young very impressive performance from Luigs, and a little bit of rust from bravo young no doubt you know he 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 clearly you know when he was up top he wasn't as efficient as he'd like to be jack he didn't get that close to near fall points as often as he would like to. Um, it, 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 he's rusty, clearly. You know, the way that this offseason has gone, I'm like any, any other wrestling offseason ever, it's certainly unsurprising. And you can see, you know, as he walks away, he's a little bit disappointed in himself.